So today we are at Starbucks. We're gonna be trying and rating all the new holiday drinks and snacks. And filling in for my usual co-host, Mike C, we have PP. All right, well, thank you there, Jeffrey. Appreciate Joey. it. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, yep, well, the holiday season is upon us, so hasta so long of pumpkin spice and hello, new holiday flavors. <laughs> Let's get go. into it. Let's go. All of these holiday drinks we're rating today come in either hot or cold versions. But we're doing the hot ones because it's winter time, bitches. Then we'll list the holiday baking items from naughty to nice. And speaking of naughty, stick around to the very end of this video for a special holiday message. Well, let's, let's give this a try here. Mmm, that's not bad. All right, thoughts? Um, I like it a lot. It's uh, a little sweeter than I normally would Re yeah. order, um, but definitely relaxing, comforting. Can you taste the, the caramel? I can taste the caramel, not the caramel. I believe it's pronounced the caramel. I love to <laughs> show that right here. Caramel. <laughs> it looks like I was right. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, uh, I like it. Uh, and it's got the, on the whipped cream parts, uh, it's got those little, uh, the little bits of creme brulee, the little sugar right there. Uh, I didn't get none because you gave me the small cup, but uh, <laughs> I would imagine those would be mighty, mighty tasty. You can try again and see if I can get some. Uh, overall, uh, I like it. Uh, it is a little sweet. The caramel is really forward. Uh, caramel. <clears throat> so you can start me with some bad damn habits. Caramel. I'm going to give it three and a half cream brulees out of five. <laughs> I'm going to give it four caramels out of five. All right. So I know praline is like the candy crunch topping on a lot of desserts, but I'm not really familiar with the flavor profile of chestnuts. Yeah, you know, uh, besides the song, uh, I don't either, but I'll tell you what, I do call chestnut my finished move I use with uh, my lady friends, if you know what I'm saying, and I think you do. I don't. I think you might. <laughs> chestnut. I bet you're really excited to try this now. <laughs> not at all. All right, let's give it a go. Mm. All right, I'm liking that. Uh, very nutty. <laughs> does, does, it, does it taste like a finishing oh. move? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you, what you, ladies, you're missing out. It's going to waste on that chest. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff tastes pretty damn good. I what they're bitching about. <laughs> All right. All right, what do you think, Jake? <laughs> it's Joey. I think it's good. It's not as sweet as the other one. Yep. Um, Gets to the point, I don't know, again, I still don't know what chestnut tastes like, but I do taste the praline flavoring of it. Yeah. Um, I don't want to know what chestnuts taste like, because I feel like you ruined it for me. Um, but it is a really good, <laughs> not over the top sweet. Um, I give this four and a half pralines out of five. All right, yeah. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm with you on that. I think I'm gonna give it, a, I'm gonna give it a solid four nuts. Mm. Uh, damn, I, all right, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I don't think there's any better combination than peppermint and mocha. I, I gotta say, dude, that's as good a combination as you and that Mike C feller. Thanks, P, that's the nicest thing you ever said to me. Yeah, you know, like, like Mike C's the cool, refreshing peppermint, and uh, you're the, the mocha. Well, you know, like, you know, tone-wise, mocha. So what do you think? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> so far, this is my, my favorite. I'm gonna give this four and a half peppermint sticks out of five. Yeah, I agree. Um, this was really good. I'm gonna give this four mocha middle finger emojis out of five. <laughs> so next up is the toasted white chocolate. Hey, Jimmy, you know what else I call white chocolate? First of all, it's Joey, and no, I do not want to know what you call white chocolate. All right, you said you're a big guy, okay. Hey, maybe we should switch into some decaf, getting a little, little edgy there. But all right, let's all right. give it a go. Toasted white chocolate. Yeah, honestly, I don't taste anything. Yeah. It just tastes like hot. Yeah, this one's a little, little, little on the, yeah, a little, little on the flavorless side, yeah. Yeah, there's no real flavor profile to it, yeah. to be honest with you. To me, it tastes like, all right. I, if I was to compare it, I'd say it was like a watered down hot chocolate. Yeah, but only watered down white hot chocolate. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna give this a, I'm gonna give this a, 
I'm gonna give this two eats out of five. I'm gonna give this uh, two and a half black flowers <laughs> out of five. It's time for our Starbucks Holiday Bakery, not in the nice list. Okay, going from worst to first. Coming in at number five is the chocolate pistachio swirl. Chocolate pistachio sounds like a combination that would fill you with holiday cheer, but this thing says bah humbug the flavor and fills you with Christmas tears. In at number four, we got a little reindeer head. And boy, were we disappointed. These cake pops were doughy and bland. Rudolph, your nose might be bright, but your cake pops bite. Coming at number three is the snowman cookie. This is just a basic shortbread cookie with white chocolate icing. In fact, it's so basic, they should call this thing Frosty the Joe Man. Haha. <laughs> And coming in at number two to save Christmas, the Cranberry Bliss Bar. A tasty combo of tart cranberry, sweet cream cheese, and a pop of orange zest. Hey, Cranberry Bliss Bar, meet me under the mistletoe. And taking our number one spot, the Sugar Plum Cheese Danish. This thing's absolutely plum delicious. Fluffy Danish filled with cream cheese and topped with a spiced sugar plum spread. It's no wonder people have visions of sugar plums dancing in their head. Leave one of these out for Santa and he'll probably unload his whole sack all over your floor. So thanks for joining us. And leave a comment below and let us know what your favorite is. Yeah, and on behalf of the B2B Restaurant Review family, happy holidays to you all and uh, happy Kwanzaa to you. <laughs>